It's the beginning of a new season in the 405. And while we've been tearing up the track... We've lost a step racing on the street. It's time to return the list to its former glory. Big Chief's Garage is a car enthusiast stream. It's loaded with high performance vehicles, including custom race cars. You will also find a Mustang GT, a Ford pickup truck, and a Dodge Challenger in that garage. Big Chief is known for his love of fast cars, and he spends significant time and money maintaining and upgrading his vehicles. His cars hold a special place in his heart, and it wasn't surprising how heartbroken he was when his beloved car, the Crow, was wrecked in an accident he had in 2015. Big Chief began racing cars at a young age and quickly rose to prominence in the local racing scene, competing in various racing events around the country. When he's not on the street racing, Big Chief prefers to be behind the wheel of some American classic or a big truck. His success on the TV show Street Outlaws and the racing circuit has allowed him to live a relatively convenient lifestyle with all the necessities of life and luxury. Without further ado, let's dive into everything there is to know about Big Chief's luxurious lifestyle. You don't even know how to pack them. I don't have to know how to pack them. You pack them. I drive the car, you pack the sheets. That's how this works. Justin Shearer, also known as Big Chief, is a popular street racer, television personality, and professional drag racer. He's best known for his role as a star of the reality television show Street Outlaws, which airs on the Discovery Channel. Street Outlaws follows a group of street racers competing in car races on the streets of Oklahoma City. Although he gained popularity through Street Outlaws, Big Chief has been in the car racing scene for quite some years, even before making it to the big screen. Through his unbeatable giant strides in his career, Big Chief rose from humble beginnings to become one of the most famous street racers in the United States. Big Chief has earned his nickname in every sense. He's literally a beast behind the wheel, and his fans love to see him do what he knows how to do best. Before we get neck deep into details, let's find out who Justin Shearer, aka Big Chief, was before he became a cast member of the reality TV series Street Outlaws. Big Chief spent his early childhood in Louisville, Kentucky, where he and his brother were born and raised by their single mother. His father died while he was still very young. However, when his mother married again in 1992, Big Chief moved to Oklahoma, where he completed his high school education and became interested in racing cars. Coming from a town known for horse racing, it wasn't surprising that streetcar racing piqued his interest. Big Chief's love for streetcar racing began to manifest right after moving to Oklahoma. As a kid, Big Chief would ride his bike to watch street races on Old Route 66, where he met different street race crews in Oklahoma City. Watching street race shows was just the push Big Chief needed to pursue his dream as a streetcar racer. However, he knew he could only achieve his childhood dreams if he had the money to fuel his passion. This led Big Chief to work odd jobs to earn enough money. Then he worked at a gas station before eventually getting a job at Midwest Street Cars, a company he would later own. Big Chief gathered enough money to invest in his car through his stints working odd jobs. The first car he bought was the 1972 Pontiac Le Mans, which he customized to his taste and named The Crow. You may have noticed that I talked to The Crow a lot. Anything you're not happy about right now is the time to tell me, Mr. Crow. Big Chief's career subsequently took a more significant turn as he caught the attention of the producers of Discovery Channel, who were intrigued by his success as a street racer and race car expert. The channel offered him an offer to be a reality TV personality, and he accepted it. Prior to that time, Big Chief was featured in the reality TV series Midwest Street Cars, later merged with another reality TV series, Street Outlaws, a 41-minute show. Street Outlaws began in 2013 as a documentary showcasing the fastest and most talented streetcar racers. Big Chief has since then continuously lived through the thrills and dangers of car racing. However, he knows his onions and finds a great rhythm behind the wheels of his car. Unfortunately, Big Chief was involved in a ghastly car accident in 2015, where he collided head-on with the co-racer Brian Davis, aka Chucky. The accident left him with various degrees of life-threatening injuries. Nonetheless, his passion for racing didn't wane a bit despite suffering a spinal cord injury, smashed collarbone, and pulmonary contusions. He restored his car and returned to the street in grand style, to the fan's surprise. 
Big Chief makes impressive money from his career, and it's only expected he leads a life of luxury. He spends a lot on his racing cars, and it seems he keeps that energy in other areas of his life. Despite spending a lot of time in the public eye, Big Chief rarely shows off his fortune on social media. His reason could be that he's mostly on the road. A close look at Big Chief's style portrays him as a minimalist. He's mostly on around neck tops and baseball caps with no wristwatches or ring. We don't know why he chose to live this way, but one thing remains absolutely true. Big Chief's lifestyle reflects his success as a street racer and television personality. He lives a life of comfort with access to the best cars, homes, and other luxuries. Big Chief started racing very early in life, so it's only expected that he must have accumulated a handsome net worth. Big Chief has accumulated a fair amount of wealth for himself thanks to his success in the street racing contest, his appearance on Street Outlaws, and other businesses. He made at least $20,000 per episode as an important cast member of Street Outlaws and is estimated to be worth about $2 million. Big Chief didn't stop at earning a prolific street car racer. He also earns through his YouTube channel and as a co-owner of Midwest Street Ellington, where he handles sales and consultation. Another source of income for Big Chief is his recently launched merch store, which sells clothing items bearing his name, nickname, and logo. Big Chief's luxurious lifestyle reflects his success as a street racer and television personality. With access to the best cars, homes, and other luxuries, he can live a life of comfort. While on the show, Big Chief successfully built a solid and impressive career. He seized every opportunity to showcase his talent as a seasoned racer and car expert. Big Chief was one of the reasons why fans watched Street Outlaws. He, alongside his colleagues, gave their fans a show worth watching. However, a lot happened behind the scenes among the cast members beyond the reach of the cameras. Behind the scenes were rivalry, friendships, and fights. Since all the negativity was mostly concealed from fans, they found it somewhat surprising that Big Chief didn't appear in the most recent Street Outlaws episode. There is neither an official statement from the channel nor Big Chief himself stating why he left. However, there would always be rumors, and the rumors say that Big Chief and Precious, a fellow car racer, had an altercation while shooting the new season's first episode. Another unconfirmed news revealed that Jackie, Big Chief's wife, was also involved in the fight. Rumors further revealed that Precious, unsatisfied with the show's new rules, got into an argument with Big Chief. However, contrary to rumors suggesting the feud between Precious and Big Chief led to his absence from the show, it appears that the real reason behind Big Chief's disappearance from the show was that Big Chief had issues with the production company's policy. The policy states that selected preseason winners would participate in Street Outlaws. However, Big Chief figured the company was biased in its policy as a disproportionate number of Street Outlaws, Memphis racers, partook in the race. In contrast, others were excluded even though they won their preseasons. The reason for the feud between the duo is understandable, considering Precious is a Memphis racer. However, none of the parties have spoken publicly about the feud, but Big Chief has moved on to other car-related ventures outside Street Outlaws. Aside from his love for cars and his passion for street racing, Big Chief enjoys listening to good music in his downtime, especially from Lil Wayne, Gotti, Primus, The Avid Brothers, and Dr. Dre. He's equally active across several social media platforms, which he uses to promote his career and share other content with his fans.